Ria, today I will tell you about plants and its parts. Oh, wow! That would be interesting. Do you know that plants are the only source of food for all living things? Just like human body, the plant has got different parts to perform different functions. The part of a plant that grows under the ground is called the root. The part that grows above the ground or soil is called the shoot. There are two kinds of roots. One, tap root. Two, fibrous root. A tap root grows deep into the soil. It has a big main root and many root hairs. Plants such as peas, beans and rose have tap roots. A fibrous root has a number of roots, almost of the same length and size. Plants such as grass, wheat and onion have fibrous roots. Roots fix the plant in the soil. They absorb water and minerals from the soil and send them to the rest of the plant. They also store extra food in them. The roots of carrot, radish, turnip, beetroot and sweet potato plants store food in them. We use them as vegetables. The shoot has stem, branches, leaves, buds, flowers, thorns and fruits. Stem is the main long thin part of a plant above the ground from which the leaves or flowers grow. It holds the plant upright. It bears branches, leaves, buds, flowers and fruits. Stems of certain plants like money plant are soft and green, whereas stems of neem and coconut trees are hard and woody. The stem supports the plant. The stem carries food to different parts of the plant. For some plants like potato, onion, ginger etc, stem is the storehouse of food. Their stems remain underground and store extra food in them. The plants look green due to the leaves born by them. They are the food factories of plants. The food is prepared in leaves with the help of carbon dioxide, water and sunlight. This process is called photosynthesis. The green color of the leaves is due to the presence of a green pigment called chlorophyll. Plants have leaves of different shapes and sizes. Leaf blade is the flat portion of the leaf. The main vein and side veins are there to carry water to the leaf. Tiny pores present on the leaf surface are called stomata. Amazing fact! The largest water plant, a giant lily from the Amazon, can support a child on its 10 feet broad leaves. Leaves prepare starch during the process of photosynthesis. Stomata present in the leaves extends the gases. In cabbage, lettuce, spinach etc., food is stored in leaves. Do you know? Tulsi leaves are used with honey for quick relief from cough. Many leaves are edible. It means they can be eaten either after cooking or raw. The leaves of lettuce are eaten in salads and mint leaves in chutney. But spinach is first cooked and then eaten. Let's recall and list down the names of five leafy plants that are edible. 1. Cabbage 2. Spinach 3. Broccoli 4. Cauliflower 5. Radish Many plants bear flowers. They grow from buds. These flowers make plants beautiful. Some plants reproduce with the help of flowers. Flowers make the plants attractive to insects. Perfume is obtained from many flowers. Flowers help in pollination. Some fruits are also obtained from flowers. Fruits are delicious to eat. Seeds are present inside the fruits. Some fruits have only one seed, whereas some other fruits have many seeds. Some plants store food in fruits. Seeds sown in the soil grow into the baby plants. We eat the seeds of some plants like musk melon and watermelon. They are very nutritious. The seeds of coffee are used to make a rich drink. Let us summarize. Roots, stem, 
leaves, buds, flowers and fruits are the parts of a plant. The two types of roots are taproot and fibrous root. The root absorbs water and mineral from the soil. The stem gives support to the plant. The leaves prepare food for the plant. Some fruits grow from flowers. Seeds are present inside the fruits. Seeds of some fruits such as musk melon and watermelon are very nutritious.